Hey, we're gonna have three minutes on the evils of technology. This is a word. This is a word. This is a word. Hey, y'all, welcome. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about technology and how we define technology. Um, for for in in the first place, um, I think when the word technology is used, and all of you, you can you know correct me if I'm wrong because I want to hear from you. But my sense is generally when we talk about technology, we talk about you know we talk about the most only the most modern applications of technology. So we're talking about computers and we're talking about you know automation and we're talking about even you know uh, machines that are used in the fabrication. Of, of things, right? Maybe an automobile we think of as a te technology. Um, I don't even know that people go as far as to consider the tools that they use in their everyday lives as types of technology like a spoon or a gun, right? And so this idea that technology as really the application of any type of knowledge in any given area for a particular task, right? Any type of technology, any type of knowledge, right? That can be used to, uh, for a particular result, with a particular result in mind. And so my, the reason that I'm talking about, you know, the evils of te technology today is I want to consider the ways that, first of all, understanding that technology helps us to accomplish things, right? Technology is any time that we're using our understanding of the world to accomplish this particular task, right? And so if you think about our most primitive selves, right, we're these organisms like moving around on this planet and we're getting things done, right? And at some point, technology is used in order to give us slightly more of an advantage either over nature or over the next person. Right, and so if we look, if we think about uh, the way even in our most primitive societies, the way that even ideologies have been used as the type of technology to use to offer individuals an advantage over other individuals. Is religion perhaps a technology that is used to help a limited group or a small group to maintain control over a larger group. And I don't want to, um, I'm not trying to be cynical when I talk about it that way, even if I were to say I believe um, in uh, a deity. Um, my use of the knowledge of that deity to help maintain order within a society is a technological use of that understanding of, of God, right? And so, Part of the reason that I'm bringing this up today is that, you know, there's, it's, it's January 20th and in the United States, there are a lot of people who are organizing and protesting. And what I really feel like, as opposed to us consistently protesting and criticizing the individuals that are involved in the maintenance of society, for example, like our politicians or leftists or conservatives, how can we get better at criticizing the technologies that we're using in our day-to-day -day lives to improve the world that we live in and how sometimes those technologies are being, you know, perhaps misapplied, especially when you consider that as human beings, we're likely looking out for our self-interest, right? And so are there ways that um, technology is applied so that one individual looking out for their own self-interest might have it might have a detrimental effect on the rest of society or even the world so that's just something to think about that's it for this video we're past three minutes uh like this video if you like it share comment subscribe this is reg signing off love yourselves peace and i love myself the way